Today we're going to show you how to assess vibration in the workplace. Uh, we're going to look at both whole body vibration and hand-arm vibration. To measure vibration, we measure the acceleration of vibration. You should consult the module. And uh, we're using a Bruhl & Kier a precision vibration meter which will measure weighted acceleration in uh, all three axes the X front to back, the Z up the long axis of the body and the Y side to side. To measure vibration we use small accelerometers and for whole body vibration the accelerometers that are aligned in the three axes are all fixed into a rubberized seat pad. You can see the pad there. We can place that pad on the seat of a vehicle where we're going to assess whole body vibration or even on the floor if, for instance, you were looking at it in a ship. We've got the triaxial seat accelerometer pad placed on the seat of a tractor mower which is about to mow an area of grass here. Um, you can see also the meter is positioned at the side securely and that will stay there as the uh, tractor moves off. So we're going to set it up to take um, a recording of about five minutes of the whole body vibration transmitted through the seat as the tractor mows. The mowing has just been done for a five minute period and we've been recording the um, weighted acceleration across all three axes, so as a summed value on the vibration meter. The meter is actually recording 1.28 meters per second squared. At that kind of value, if um, the worker was on the uh, tractor mower for an eight hour shift continuously, that would um, exceed the exposure standards as given in both the international standard and Australian standard. In reality, this activity would normally be done for perhaps a maximum of two hours in a work shift. It is on um, uneven terrain and variable terrain at different times. So at that value, um, provided they're not changing to another a vehicle with significant vibration um, that should not cause um, any harmful effects from whole body vibration. The vibration meter has now been connected to a hand arm vibration adapter. You can see it's positioned um, over the knuckle and uh, normally you would be holding on to the vibrating tool and the vibration would be transmitted through the adapter to the three accelerometers. Uh, we'll just point to those three accelerometers so that you can see where they are. There's one looking at lateral movement, one looking down the long axis and one looking at uh, vibration through the hand, vertically through the hand. So we have the X, Y and Z um, axes of vibration recorded by those accelerometers and again we can display the vibration in each axis individually or as um, a weighted acceleration summed across all three axes. just done a five minute recording of hand arm vibration uh, using the whipper snipper. What you can see on the recording there is the um, acceleration level weighted and summed across all three axes. At that level of 1.98 meters per second squared it's comfortably below the action level for um, the EU and comfortably below um, exposure standards, uh, international standards and Australian standards. So the amount of vibration coming from a whippersnipper should not cause um, hand-arm vibration disorders.